Bionic is the standard C library including LIBC, LIBDL, LIBM, and LibThread developed by Google for its Android operating system. Bionic is a BSD-licensed C library for use with the Linux kernel. This differs from other BSD C libraries which require a BSD kernel, and from the new C library GLIBC, which uses the new lesser general public license. <laughs> <laughs> original goals The original publicly stated goals for Bionic were the following BSD licensed, Google wanted to isolate Android applications from the effect of copyleft licenses to create a proprietary user space and application ecosystem, but Android is based on the Linux kernel, which is subject to the copyleft new general public license version 2. The most widespread standard C library for the Linux kernel is the new C library GLIBC, which is subject to the new Lesser General Public License LGPL, also a copyleft license. In contrast to the GPL, the LGPL explicitly allows for dynamic linking but it does not allow static linking of proprietary software. The permissive BSD license is a non-copyleft license that is compatible in both directions. A BSD-licensed GLIBC substitute could act as an isolation layer between the copyleft core kernel and the non-copyleft applications, and was therefore chosen by Google for its Bionic as a GLIBC substitute. Small size, Bionic was much smaller than the new C library, more importantly its memory requirements were and remain much lower. Speed, Bionic was designed for CPUs at relatively low clock frequencies. <laughs> <laughs> Supported architectures Bionic only supports Linux kernels, but currently supports the ARM, ARM64, MIPS, MIPS64, x86, and x86-64 architectures. The platform itself required ARM v7 with Neon since Marshmallow, though the NDK continued to support ARM v5 which it called Armibi up until NDK R16. The NDK still supports ARM v7 both with and without Neon. Historically there was partial Shish 4 support in the platform, but no devices ever shipped and support has since been removed. The NDK never supported Shish 4, and MIPS and MIPS 64 support were removed from the NDK and R17. Components Some parts of the LIBC source, such as Saintio, are from the BSDs mainly open BSD, whereas others, such as the pthread implementation, were written from scratch. The dynamic memory allocator implementation has changed over time. Before Lollipop there was a single native memory allocator, DL Malik. For Lollipop and Marshmallow there were two implementations, DL Malik and Gemalloc. Gemalloc gives much higher performance than DL Malik, but at the cost of extra memory required for bookkeeping. Most devices used Gemalloc but low memory devices still used DL Malik. For Nougat and later releases, all devices uses Gemalloc. Low memory devices use a Svelte configuration of Gemalloc that disables the T-cache to nearly match the lower memory overhead of DL Malloc while keeping most of the speed of Gemalloc. Some 64-bit devices, like the Nexus 9, are effectively low memory devices because of the extra space requirements of 64-bit pointers and hosting of two zygotes. Zygote is an Android system service that is the parent of all Android application processes. The LIBM source is largely FreeBSDs, but with optimized assembler contributed by the various SoC vendors. The Dynamic Linker and LIBDL were written from scratch. Bionic doesn't include libthread underscore db used by GDB server, but the NDK does. 
The Android platform includes a statically linked GDB server so developers can use the latest GDB even on old devices. There is no separate libthread, Libresolve, or LibRT on Android, the functionality is all in LibC. For libthread, there's no attempt to optimize for the single-threaded case because apps are in a multi-threaded environment even before the first instruction of third-party code is ever run. The Android platform uses LibC++ for the C++ standard library releases up to and including Lollipop used SDL port. The NDK currently offers SDL port, LibC++, and the new STL. Topic: <laughs> Differences from POSIX. Although Bionic aims to implement all of C11 and POSIX, there are still, as of Oreo, about 70 POSIX functions missing from LibC. There are also POSIX functions such as the endpoint, getpoint, setpoint family that are inapplicable to Android because it lacks a past WD database. As of Oreo, LIBM is complete. Some functions deliberately do not conform to the POSIX or C standards for security reasons, such as printf which does not support the percent %n format string. Many of the most used new extensions are implemented in Bionic, as are various BSD extensions. Topic: <laughs> Relationship to the NDK Platform code uses Bionic directly, but third-party developers use the Android Native Development Kit Many third-party developers still target older OS releases, which contributes to a widespread belief that Bionic lacks many features. Gingerbread exported 803 functions from LIBC but Oreo exports 1278 a 1.6x increase. Historically the NDK and the platform diverged, but NDK R11 and later have replaced NDK forks with their current platform equivalents. This work initially focused on the GCC and Clang compilers. Prior to NDK R14, when «unified» headers were first offered on an opt-in basis, the NDK had forked copies of the platform headers for different API levels. This meant that header only fixes fixes to constant or structure definitions for example weren't available to most NDK users because they'd be targeting an older API level but platform fixes were only going into the current platform headers In the Oreo development period the platform headers were annotated with API level information so that the same set of headers can be used for all API levels, with only those functions available at the developer's targeted API level being visible. These are the so-called «unified» headers, and have been the default since NDK R15. Prior to NDK R16, the NDK linked a library called Libandroid underscore support, a to code using LIBC++. This provided functions required by LIBC++ that weren't in old OS releases. This wasn't the same code used by the platform and introduced numerous bugs such as breaking positional arguments to the printf family in any code that used LIBC++. In NDKR 16 Libandroid underscore support, a still exists, but is now built directly from platform source current at the time the NDK is built. <laughs> Fortify source As of Android Jelly Bean MR1 4.2, Bionic supports similar functionality to Glibc's underscore fortify underscore source, which is a feature where unsafe string and memory functions such as strcpy, starcat, and memcp include checks for buffer overruns. These checks are performed at compile time if the buffer sizes can be determined at compile time, or run time otherwise. Because Fortify relies on runtime support from LIBC, its portability to older Android releases is limited. 
The platform itself is built with underscore fortify underscore source enabled. Historically, one of the shortcomings of Fortify has been that it's closely tied with GCC, which makes it very difficult to support well in other compilers, like Clang. This meant that when Android swapped to Clang as its default compiler, Bionic's Fortify implementation became substantially less useful. In Android Oreo 8.0, Bionic's Fortify was overhauled with Clang in mind, resulting in Fortify on Clang providing an experience on par with Fortify on GCC. Since this overhaul, some checks were added above and beyond Glibicis to catch code that, while not necessarily causing undefined behavior, is obviously incorrect. Because this new implementation requires no more LIBC support than the prior one, the Clang specific enhancements are available to applications targeting versions of Android before Oreo. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Controversies. For the creation of Bionic, Google used GPLv2 licensed Linux kernel header files. To get rid of the GPL, Google claimed that it cleaned the header files from any copyright-able work, reducing them to non-copyrightable facts. Google's behavior was considered by Linus Torvalds as acceptable, but their interpretation of the GPL has been challenged, for instance by Raymond Nimmer, a law professor at the University of Houston Law Center. See also Hybris also known as Libhybris MUSL Toybox